YouTube, Brother Mike, Man of God on Fight for Christ. How y'all doing today? Today is Saturday, the 7th, 2015. Miles. Take the exit and, uh, on the right to I-55 South to toward I-90 West. I'm going to make this video too long, but I just want to thank everybody for subscribing. You know, this has been a it's been a long road, you know, but we know that we're going home very soon, y'all. And my channel is dedicated to Jesus Christ, to uplifting y'all, to to let y'all know that our time is our time is coming up. And a lot of people, I want to encourage y'all today. A lot of people are worrying about their loved ones that they just lost or they may be about to lose. You know, I lost my mother in two thousand five. And it was like my world was coming to an end because when you lose your mother, it's a different kind of feeling when you lose your mother or your father or your child. But I want to let y'all know, death can't hold those who love Jesus Christ. Once you accept Jesus Christ, my mother is living right now. She's living better than I am today, you know. And your family members, if they accepted Jesus Christ, they're in heaven too. And they're living the best life that they can, that, that life can offer. This isn't living. What we're doing right now isn't living. We're seeing pain, suffering, you know. They're not, they're not witnessing any of that. My mother died in 2005, but it's just like she just got to heaven today because she's learning so much. You know, your family members are learning and they're meeting all the generationals all the way back to Adam and Eve, all the angels, and then getting to know the Father, you know, and the Word, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. So it's so much to do. And um, when the Lord gave me a vision of my mother, I'll say about eight months ago, she didn't look like my mother that I knew on earth. My mother on earth was in pain. She was going through a lot of mental stress. But when I seen her, she was beautiful. I mean, she was waiting by the veil with me and by the veil in heaven. She was waiting for me to enter into the veil. She was waiting on me. And I said, Lord, thank you for showing me my mother. But she looked so she was sparkling and shining and she just looked I'm telling you, the least person in heaven, if they came down here on earth, the whole world would be shocked because they're so powerful and they look so beautiful and, you know. So I wanna encourage y'all that we're gonna see them any day now. I can't wait to see my mother. I can't wait to see my great grandmother that died, you know. And uh, I wanna encourage you that that day is coming up, y'all, and, and keep walking with the Lord, you know. On earth, we go through trials and tribulations. We go through ups and downs. But guess what? Our Father is going through that with us. He's going through our pain and suffering right along with us. And he's, He wants you to know that everything is going to be fine. Because guess what? God, has, He's established the beginning to the end. So God knows where we're all going. He knows how much fun you're going to have. He has rewards for you in heaven. And it's going to be so much to do. So I just want to encourage you guys. Keep looking up. And it says in the Bible, we have a cloud of witnesses. Your family is rooting for you. Your loved ones are rooting for you each and every day. And when you're doing things wrong, they're saying, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You're close. You're close. The rapture is close. Jesus is on his way. You know, and they root for us. Angels are rooting for us. Jesus, the Father, they're rooting for us. So keep the faith, y'all. Keep looking up, you know. We know that Jesus is coming any day now. And I'm going to continue to say that. And I'm going to continue to uplift you guys. All, all the people that's watching this that hasn't subscribed to me. God bless you. You know, please do subscribe. We have a live show every Wednesday and Sunday. Well, you can come on and talk about Jesus Christ, what he's done in your life. Talk about the dreams and visions, you know. And uh, come over and, and, and worship God with us. A lot of people are not in church because of what the churches are doing and talking about. And I, and I understand that. And we can come together and have church every Wednesday and Sunday. You know? 
and um, I welcome you, all of you guys that's watching this on Google Plus. If you're watching me on Google Plus, please go to YouTube and subscribe to me, and I will also subscribe to you. I'll subscribe to everybody that subscribes to me, and um, anybody that's preaching that Jesus Christ is Lord and He's coming. You know, it, it's all it's all God's just letting us know that He He is coming, y'all. And I want to let you know, don't be caught, don't be caught in this world without Jesus Christ. Don't be caught in the tribulation. He does not want you to be there. That's why he's not, he hasn't came yet because he want us all to live holy lives. He want us all to enter into his rest. You know, heaven is a wonderful place. You know, it's huge. You're going to have so many things. God has so much to offer. Look how beautiful earth is. If you can look how beautiful earth is. Look at all the beautiful, oh, excuse me. The beautiful cities and the beautiful ocean and the fishes and the dogs and the cats and the, and the birds in the sky. Can you imagine how heaven is? You know, so you don't want to miss. You don't want to miss that ride that's about to come. Jesus is about to come and he's going to enter into the clouds to, to take us up. OK, and a lot of people say, well, Brother Mike, what well, that you know, Jesus, what about Matthew 24? What about Matthew 24? A lot of Matthew 24 is about his second coming, but there's nothing that, that, that needs to happen before the rapture. The rapture is another event. You know, the rapture is a totally another event that's separated from his second coming. You know, and I just want to really encourage you guys to keep Jesus Christ in your life. Keep him, keep looking up because God is coming and he's coming soon. He's coming and he's coming soon. And um, I love you guys. And um, I'm going to continue to worship God. And I'm going to continue to uplift the Lord, you know, and just to keep, keep you guys focused and locked in because you guys keep me focused and locked in. You know, we all fall short of the glory of God. And one thing that we cannot do is lose focus. Satan wants us to lose focus. There's so many things to lose focus on. I had a brother call me today and say, Brother Mike, I turned off my internet because it, it was just getting me to sin. And, and that can be what the internet is for to a lot of people. You know, the internet can force a lot of people to look up stuff that you don't want to look up. And the internet can be force you to listen to a lot of stuff you're not supposed to listen to. And whether you know it or not, demons come through music. It's a portal. Demons will come through things that you're watching on TV if it's not of the Lord. You watch that paranormal activity and stuff like that, and you bring those demons involved, you bring those demons into your home. You just shouldn't watch none of that. And I want to encourage you guys, don't promote that stuff. You go to the shows, and a lot of people uh, are getting Ouija boards, and they want to know why they're doing things that they, that they haven't been doing before. That's because you're inviting those spirits to be in your home. And those spirits will not leave. Those spirits will not leave until you get rid of that stuff, you know. I had a preacher that was talking to me and he said, he said, um, he was preaching and he was saying, I went over this lady house and um she kept saying, Preacher, my, my, my cabinets keep opening up. You know, they keep opening up and I don't know why. I go in the kitchen and I close them. Five minutes later, they're back open. He said, oh, it's okay. And he was preaching. He was talking and he was listening to his music. And he was. He said, all I got to do is go over there and rebuke it. All I got to do is go over there and rebuke it. Rebuke those spirits. So he was preaching and he was singing the Lord all the way there. He said he got to the house and he rebuked it. He rebuked the cabinets and he closed the door. He went back and talked to the lady. He went back in the kitchen to see was they open. They was open again. He said, wow. So he closed it again and he rebuked it again. He went back in the front and he went back in the kitchen again and it was open again. He said, I've never witnessed this before. Something you have in this house that's not right. Um, you got to get rid of it. What do you have in this? She said, well, you know, my son, he has a lot of stuff in this room. And when the pastor went to go check the room, the son, he had a Ouija board in there. And when they got rid of the Ouija, the Ouija board, they didn't have any more. Um, the cabinets wasn't opening up anymore. So I want to let you guys know if you're having any problems like that um, in your house, you know, you got to get rid of anything, anything that's of, uh, uh, of some letters or something that you don't understand. You got to be very careful because Satan is so sneaky. He's so sneaky. 
come into your house. A lot of us get Chinese stuff in our house, so we don't know what that stuff is. A lot of people get different kind of letters from these different shops or souvenirs, and you don't know what it is. And they can be just what Satan needs to come into your house. So check everything. Check what your kids have. Check what your kids are watching on TV. You know, check those things. But um, please come on live tomorrow, um, probably at about two o'clock. We're going to do a live show. You, if you have a dream or vision and you want to share it, please come on or email me at Mike Thomas 06 1973 at yahoo.com. And um, I will read out your 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 dreams or vision on, on air. If you need prayer, you can come on. And I will pray for you along with a lot of other saints that join me every week. Um, we're just getting in preparation, y'all, because this world is about to have a nervous breakdown the moment we leave here. This world is not going to be the same. You know, we see the sun go up and we see the sun go down and the moon come out. But soon and very soon, Jesus is going to come for us. And I don't know when, but I believe that it's very soon by what the people are having dreams and visions and how many people are having dreams and vision. God is letting us know that his soon and coming return is soon. And I want to let you guys know that your family is waiting on you in heaven. Your family, your friends, your pets, God has them all and they're all waiting on you. And I want to let you know that you will see them again. And it will be any day, any week, any second, any moment. And that moment is about to happen. And you got to ask yourself, are you living holy? Are you living a safe and holy life? And if you're not, give your life to Jesus Christ right now. Because he loves you and he want a peace. He want a part of your life. He want, to, he want the peace in your life that's empty. God will feel that peace. No man, no woman, no animal, no money can feel that part of your heart. Only God can. He made you that way. He made us to serve him. Not the other way around. A lot of us pray and we ask God for stuff and we demand things of God. Listen, it's the other way around. We supposed to be submissive to our father and we supposed to love God with all our heart. And if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, please repeat after me. The rapture can happen and you want Jesus in your life. You should be tired of living for yourself. If you're living for yourself, there's no glory into that. You're going to die and you're going to be by yourself. But if you accept Jesus Christ, he will give you everlasting life. And no man can take that away from you. So please repeat after me if you don't have Jesus in your life or you need to renew your faith. You've been sinning and you you need to renew your faith. Please renew your faith by repeating after me. Father God, I am a sinner. And I'm sorry for all the sins that I've done. Please forgive me for everything that I've done against you, Father God. Wipe my sins clean with your precious blood that you died on Calvary. Please make me the person that you want me to be. Come into my life. Change me. Get rid of all the things that is wrong with me, Father God. And please, all of you and none of me, Lord Jesus, in your holy name I pray, amen. You see, a lot of us say more and more of you, Jesus Christ, and less and less of me. But I want all of Jesus Christ. I don't want to have none of my own thoughts. I don't want to have none of my own ways because they all are evil and wicked. All my thoughts are evil and wicked. There's none good about us. The only good thing that we that we have about us is that Jesus Christ came into our life. There's nothing good about us. We are filthy, dirty rags compared. When we get into heaven, we're going to wish that we didn't give our life to God sooner because of the glorious things that God has created and how much God is going to give to you. See, we're going to come into inheritance in heaven. God is going to give you things that you've inherited by you accepting Jesus Christ. You're inheriting to some things. Eternal life is one of the things that we inherit once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That's just one thing, y'all. So this is Brother Mike Man of God. I love you guys. I hope that you guys have been encouraged by this video. Your family is waiting on you. Your family is rooting on you. Don't let them down. Don't let Jesus down. This is a marathon. This isn't a race. It's a marathon. We have to pace ourselves. Jesus is coming. But pace yourself. 
It's not about how you start the race. It's not about how you start. It's about us finishing. You know, you see a marathon and some people are aching and they're going through, they're going through the marathon and they, their leg cramping up in their bed and, they, you know, they make it through the, through the finish line and people start cheering for them. See, that's us. We're, we're, we're aching. We're, 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 we're cramped up. You know, we don't have that much strength, but those who, who make the finish line, God is, is so happy with them. He's going to be so happy with us, you know? So all of us got to make the finish line. It's all about how you finish. It's all about how you finish. It's not how you start. A lot of people are starting fast. You love the Lord and you race and you race and then you're going to get tired. And a lot of people, they race so hard and then they lose their focus on God. Pace yourself with God. Be patient with him. He's patient with us. Don't want a lot of things to come fast. Wait on God to give it to you. Be patient. You know, the race is almost over. And like I said, it's not how you start. So many people started off good. Satan, uh, Lucifer started off good. He started off good, but how did he end? He ended up in hell forever. A lot of people in hell started off good. They started off running a good race. But some point of time in their life, they wavered. They started doubting and they started getting back into the world. And God knocked on their heart and they start, They didn't want to let God in. And then they lost faith and death came for them. And now they're in a place where they would never be with God again. They are totally separated from the love of God. So I, I want to encourage you today. Keep running. And I'm with you. I'm running right beside you. We may be bloody. We might be tired. We might be wild. But guess what? You keep running. And we're going to run this race until the Lord comes get us. That's when our race is over. Or, or we lose our life. What if, whichever one comes first, we're going to keep running for the Lord. Because guess what? He ran his race. And he ran a perfect race for you. God finished the line for you. And he's waiting for you at the finish line. He's waiting for you. He has his hands out saying, welcome into the kingdom of God. And he's coming. Whether we raptured up or your loved ones is about to lose their life or whether we lose our life, we know that at the end of that finish line is Jesus Christ. And that is where I want to be. And that is where I hope you want to be. This has been Brother Mike Man of God. I love you so much. Keep Jesus on your mind. And... Uh, God loves you, and I love you. I hope to see you, all of you guys, Sunday. Please, tune in Sunday. And if you don't have my number, it's 773-680-5991. Thank you for all your donations. I want to thank Felicia Wright um, for donating. I'm going to use that money to ship out these Bibles. I want to thank a lot of other people that, that, donated, that donated to this channel. You all know who you are. God bless you guys. And, um, you know... Please, please keep your mind on Jesus Christ. Um, my email address is MikeThomas06, 1973 at Yahoo.com. Continue, continue to search for the Lord. He's coming, y'all. Don't get caught thinking that he's not coming. Jesus is coming. He can come today. He can come tonight. I want to see y'all in the clouds. But most of all, Jesus wants to see you. He has so many rewards for you. And uh, I love you guys. God bless you.